Tissue engineering has been exploring the importance of biomaterials in order to achieve tissue regeneration, not only creating new tissue, but also repairing damaged tissue is a pressing issue, and one of the key factors is the strength of cell cell adhesion. In this talk, we would like to show you how our biomaterials can improve cell cell adhesion of epithelial cells. Polyotexan is a supramolecular polymer which looks like a beaded chain at a molecular scale. Such a structure is characterized by the molecular mobility, which include the sliding and rotation of cyclic molecule along the axial chain. We have clarified that a change in the molecular mobility plays an important role in cytoskeletal organization of cells, eventually promoting a variety of functions. The differentiation into cardiomyocytes, osteoblasts, myoblasts, and adipocytes, the network formation of vascular endothelial cells, and the maintenance of liver-derived cellular functions. In this context, the key player of the cytoskeletal organization is YES-associated protein, YAP, which plays on the transcriptional coactivator. Improving cell cell adhesion is critical in repairing damaged tissue and closely related to the subcellular YAP localization. In this study, we clarify that cell cell adhesion of epithelial cells was enhanced on the mobile polyotexan surface. Let me show you some of the typical results. Here, we visualize the subcellular YAP localization in the epithelial cells on the polyotexans. Highly mobile surface led to cytoplasmic YAP localization, while less mobile surface induced nuclear YAP localization. Alternatively, we confirm the gene expression of tight junction proteins to neural occludins ZO1, ZO2, were increased on the highly mobile surface. Therefore, we consider the highly mobile surface can trigger the YAP transfer from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, eventually leading to stronger cell cell adhesion. From these findings, we propose our polyotaxans represent promising biomaterials in order to reinforce the physical barrier of epithelial tissues and to inhibit the progression of inflammation. We think it important in a potential application for clinical dentistry. For example, damage to tight junctions in epithelial cells due to bacterial infections is known to cause periodontal disease. We believe a polyotexan can reinforce various functions of epithelial tissue, inhibit inflammation, and finally repair damaged periodontal tissue.